heights. Good. <laughs> Love you, high school girl. And the thespian troupe would like to welcome you to CHS's first ever cabaret show. What an awesome place to have it here. Hopa, the stage and lighting and asbestos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a great show planned for you tonight. Jamie Satterfield was going to do a monologue for you. Unfortunately, though, she's sick, so she won't be here. So if you see her on the street, be like, oh, Jamie, I'm sorry I missed your monologue. That's too bad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You know, let, oh, I was going to tell you guys, as you know, looking to see and all, that if you have cell phones, please turn them off. I know some people in the audience have been in drama, and they know it's very disrespectful, so please turn it off and help yourself to the bakery area there. And buy some stuff, get some goods, you know, yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, the last time they let me on stage, I caused a little bit of trouble. So they came to me today for the show, and they said, TJ, we got to talk. I was like, oh no, they found those pictures on the internet. <laughs> it just happened. You know, they're like, look, you know, there's going to be families in the audience. You got to watch what you say on stage. You know, no cussing, no racist jokes, and try not to mention anything about the world ending today. Yeah. So, I'm like, why would I insult people in Colombia? Where am I going to hide? What, am I going to find a porn stall and hide behind it? Nah, I don't think that's going to happen. So they told me no racist jokes, no cussing. So I had to rewrite my act in an hour. Fortunately. I'm telling you, we have got a great show planned and... Yeah, I was just recently became was single, and I find dating in Columbia to be—it's really—it's really easy because you know you just go to your window and shout out, "I'm single," and everyone knows. It's great. It's just so simple. And if nobody responds, then you should start calling all the couch, cat shelters in the local area and start preparing for your future. That's what you're looking at. So I'm happy to say that I'm now in a loving relationship with an orange tabby named Mr. Tibbles. <laughs> it's terrible. It's so ugly, it's cute. Like Eskimos, or Brangelina's kids. 